Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 13 after our battle with the Manus Vin Warmech. We continue to cross, oh, push over Saz, we continue to cross the pipes and don't worry guys, I listened to your requests on the comments section and have now put subtitles on so you guys will be able to read the text as well as hear it in the background which is going to be good for any quiet sections or ones that I'm talking too much, of course I don't talk over cutscenes but still, you want to know what's going on? And what's going on right now is a billion red dots on the map. I sense an ambush. Ambush it is. So that's where all those fish guys came from. Or at least they were in the never and then they come up. But that's a lot of them. So I'm slightly worried about the amount of damage they can deal out. Oh no, they're weaker versions, are they? There's weaker versions along with a stronger version, it seems. I don't know exactly what went on there, but uh, one little bit of information for you guys. I had to go back and forth between a save point, and in that time, Saz actually managed to get a new skill. So he now has Flame Strike. That's a little bit of information for you there. As you see, he'll start using his guns more and stop casting just straight magic. Down here looks like more treasure chests and more monsters. Let's go. Let's go for all the treasure chests in the world. Yes, there's definitely different colour ones, isn't there? So there's a group of small weak ones. And one of the powerful ones. But that just makes the group as a whole actually a lot weaker. Especially when they all gather up like this. And blitz. What's the point? Just means he gets taken down in two seconds flat. I love the sound of Saz's guns going off. It's satisfying. So what we find from this treasure chest? New weapons? New weapons, please. Six vials of enigmatic fluid. Well, technically anything like that is actually new weapons in this game because you do a lot of weapon upgrading rather than fine weapons from 13.2. So I wonder how long it is till we finally get away from this place. It doesn't look too long, that's for sure. Sure you will hope. Just a question there. I do have subtitles set to on, but nothing came on. I guess it's not those bits of talking, which is a shame, really. Because those bits of talking kind of help flesh out a character just a little bit more. It's mainly, obviously, just real cutscenes and the game-rendered cutscenes as well. Not the pre-rendered ones. Let's get to work. These guys are too weak versus us. Just go for the attack, kill him before anyone else gets the kill. Lightning has to do the cool poses and the cool weapon put away action. And always a five star fight, which is the way we like it. Treasure chest! Seven wicked fangs. Yeah, so just to show a bit more of the Crystarium leveling here, because I think Saz is actually near another skill on top of what he's previously learnt. Let's see. Arrow is up here, so let's see how far we can get towards it. Not that far. We need another 44 points and he can learn a new skill, so that'll be pretty ace for our guys when he gets and get that. Because when you can differentiate between spells, of course there's more elemental weaknesses you can play into. Kind of more importantly, uh, do we want to go magic or... Well, I think HP probably best. Yes, you can go that way, down. There we go. We don't want lightning dying again. We're going to buffer up with as much HP as possible. Oh, we did you already, sir. Somehow managed to skip vanilla. She's got arrow strength next. We don't really want that. Let's just keep going for the HP. And now we have to go for the strength. And Hope, who does not really want to join the party for some reason. Well, some reason apart being his mother died and he's probably not very happy about it. So what's this down the side here? There seems to be something to the left on the minimap. Looks operational. A 
shot something and spawned a lot of frogs. So let's get going and kill them all. Too bad I can't get a preemptive attack on these guys. But how many are in this one battle? What the hell? That's a veritable armada. Blitz! And there's most of them dead. Especially when flame strike goes in. So now we just got the tougher guys left. So we can eliminate one as fast as possible. And maybe go back to healing. Because of course we don't want lightning going down. Stay sharp. Maybe a little bit of paradigm refreshing we can do as well. Even though there was a lot of enemies there, they all went down pretty fast. Should be able to get this one staggered and killed in no time at all. Come on guys, finishing blows. Go! Sass with his extremely bright yellow guns. I wonder if anyone's actually painted guns just that colour yellow before. It looks crazy enough. Ooh, just a quick check. That was enough CP points, so I'm just going to do it for Saz only right now. And get him that new spell. Because that should help us a fair bit, especially if there's an enemy weak to win with Anil and Saz. They'd just be able to bombard the hell out of the guy. The elemental switch up's just going to help quite a bit. Before he only had straight fire. On one of these guys, a behemoth, behemoth, battle technique tutorial. Okay, this tutorial explains techniques, let's view it. Techniques are special abilities used by expending technical points or TP. Your party's TP gauge appear below the leader's HP gauge, so successfully unleashing a full ATP gauge of acute abilities or earning a high battle rating replenishes TP. A full ATP gauge of acute abilities actually replenishes it. Crazy. Try using a technique for yourself. Select techniques from the menu and then execute the Libra ability. Hang on me. Which Libra is, of course, Scan. Using Libra reveals the abilities and weaknesses of your enemies. You can view known enemy intel at any time by pressing RB. Revealing enemy attributes will automatically change the abilities selected by the auto battle command and by your allies. The most effective actions known are always chosen. You can gain the weaknesses as knowledge by just killing the monsters repeatedly, but... If it's a big enemy, you may as well just scan it and instantly start pinpointing the weaknesses. Using Libra on this Alpha Bayer Moth revealed that it is vulnerable to both fire and water damage. If a character's current role has access to abilities to deal damage of those types, that character will now be able to deal damage more efficiently. So definitely Saz. When you encounter seemingly overwhelming new enemies, Libra can be a potent ally. Additional techniques will come available over time. More powerful techniques consume more TP when used, and unlike HP, TP is not restored automatically after battle. Aim to achieve high battle ratings and auto replenish TP. Right then. So like we can access the menu from here and you can see his weaknesses. HP is actually really high. And his stagger point is also actually really high. And he can charge power. Sounds really bad. So we're going to have to aim for a stagger I think. We might have to change the diversity very soon. I'm slightly fearful. Only slightly, you know. Especially when that charging powerful reaches 100%. Am I aiming to stagger him before he can charge? So that would make a lot of sense. Triple Ravager might help me get there. Well, that didn't hurt that much. Paradigm Refresh. Quick, guys, stagger. Oh, we got to get him down, now. Before he charges whatever it is he's charging. Go for the kidding blow. I don't want to know what he's charging. He can charge something else. Maybe it was just strength increase over time. But I do not want to find out and I do not want to die. I thought that would give me more Christogen points as well. 
This is a bit of a random part of the map, that's for sure. It's a randomly jutting out, nothing on it, nothing to do with it. Treasure chest up there, though. So that's his chatting away, but I cannot hear him. A Libra scope, of course, is the same as Libra, but without using technique points. So we can use that later on and just, you know, in case we run out of technique points, or we just don't want to use the technique points, we want to save for something else. Must be hunting down purge survivors. I hope everyone made it out okay. So do I. But nowhere is safe for him now. Damn it! Just cause they shared a neighborhood with a foul sea. They get treated like pulse-tainted rats. People really hate pulse, don't they? Not hate. More like fear. Tens of millions of people. All scared of Pulse Boogeyman. They'd be shaking in their beds every night if they knew that Lassie like us were around. But they purged that entire town. It's crazy, I know. But the Sanctum Fauci did nothing to stop it. Up until now. Eden's always stepped in to correct their errors in judgment. Guess humans aren't worth the effort. Figure they'll let us just kill each other off. Lassie are not human. Listen, you! That's enough! still alive. That's something. Oh. What? Where is it? I don't know. Oh. There. They're sealing off the area. They're trying to trap the stragglers. We gotta get moving before we're caught in the net. The problem is, if they're sealing off the stragglers, that means there's one definite straggler down there. Now, just one more question. You can see, guys, that... These are off! I turned them on! What on earth is going on? Okay, on. They're on now. Sorry for that one. I can't believe that. I turned them on from the main menu, joined the game, and of course they were still off. So I thought they were on, and blah. So yeah, sorry for that, but from every cutscene onwards, we will have subtitles. Jolly good. I normally actually always play every game I ever play with subtitles. It's just always better to be able to read stuff. They usually just stick little secret little tidbits in that you can barely or barely audible. Or there's some other kind of game noise going on, like big explosion or something like that. You miss a lot if you don't use subtitles in games. They may take up a bit of the screen during cool cutscenes, but still. Let's get in there and start fighting rather than me talking. But I find you get hell out of a lot more out of games if you have the subtitles on at all times. It's really up to debate whether people like the writing on like all the beautiful stuff that goes on. I mean, Final Fantasy XIII is actually a really beautiful day. It's like a very beautiful game. A really beautiful day! You just look at everything within this game and all the scenery and all that and you are like, wow, trust me, when you when you play through this game, when we get through it further, there'll be some scenery that's just pure painting. We did not do well in battle duration there. Target time was 37 seconds. We only got a four star, so I don't know what's with that.
Oh, we're going down, aren't we? Completely lost reorientation. See, this is what a little bit of menu confudgery can mess you up with. They're trying to trap the stragglers. Snow is the only remaining straggler. And they're not doing very well at killing us, that's for sure. What are you guys? Robots? Robots. So like, for example, we could use a technique point Libra. Find out what their weakness is, which I have to assume is going to be thunder and water. And you can exploit it, but I'd rather just build up their chain gauge with other spells, considering it's actually really easy to do. And break them down with lightning. Electro kick me all you like, sir. I can just jump away and you can't do anything about it. Ow. Okay, maybe you can do it like that. Maybe you were just charging up. Stay sharp. You might need to save lightning. Vanille, get to it. Save the lightning, save the world. Come on. The enemies are getting tougher, it seems. Dealing a lot more damage. Maybe this is a time to catch up with the leveling, just a little bit. Treasure chest. Two digital circuits. The weapon upgrading itself. Ah, there we go. Subtitles finally, at last. Take the Psycom Tracker. Actually, we should go for the gun guy in the back. Usually they die a lot faster after all. I'm not sure Blitz is the best idea, but go with that lightning. Go for the Ranger, guys. That range guy always dies very, very fast. Well, he may be beating on the other guys, as long as lightning's full HP, we're completely fine to just go all out. Let's cut our way across the bridge, though we need to somehow unlock that again. Unless we can jump up the wall, which I assume actually might be what we're doing. Let's get this done really fast. So we need the levels. At all times, we need the levels. Let's go for magic six. Grade our guys as fast as possible. Strength plus three, which for vanilla and water. So now we got the other weakness that we could have used on that guy before. We'll go for magic four for her then. I may Saz has anything still to go for, considering he's got the one bar. It's nice to get magic with him, but HP is just going to help too much right now. I'd rather just have that little bit more defensive power. And his HP gain is tiny. Absolutely tiny. Let's jump up this wall then. There we go. Everything in Final Fantasy 13 is beautifully sculpted. It's absolutely crazy sometimes. Really have to go this way. I'm too old for this. Thought you say something like that, Saz. So we want to go up for the treasure chest, which is quicker right or left. I don't think I. Oh, I can go this way. Come on, treasure chest me up. I don't think being a C automatically makes you, like, fitter. Stronger, yes, in terms of attack damage, but fitter, probably not. Ah, what are these? Not that one up there, but the one up there.
That looks like it could hurt really badly. Okay, watch the HP damage that that thing does. If it does a high amount of damage, then we are going to be messed up quite badly. Okay, it did half HP worth of damage. Let's just make sure we get rid of one target. Let's get this paradigm shift animation over. That's one of the really annoying things in this game, is that paradigm shift. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, because it's always got an animation there. What we're we looking at here: resistant to most things, a fair bit of HP, not a high stagger point. So we're just going to wail at it until we can stagger it. And he doesn't like vanilla at all. And of course, the only commander we have is lightning, so the only way we're going to deal a lot of damage is via her. Uh, the other two can just build up that chain gauge even more. It will be gravy. That is a crazy floating motorbike thing. It looks like it has wheels, but they're kind of some kind of gravity turbine, I imagine. The overall stability of the design doesn't seem that massive either. I mean, it seems to jutter about in midair. I know I'm examining future technology that doesn't exist, but still. <laughs> Was there something in that corner then? Did I just gaze over it? Nope. But taking on the big enemies is always fun. Become a crystal, I mean. You're gonna complete your focus? <laughs> Maybe. If I knew what it was. Yeah, I probably don't want to know. Hey, Lightning. Did Sarah say anything to you about her focus? <sighs> Nothing. Uh, you know what? She probably didn't want to worry you. Or she just didn't think she could trust me. Oh. Stark realization, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Pretty sure she was trying to find out what it or figure out what it was herself. You only get the vague dream after all, she probably never knew. Guys, help me take these down before we get completely and utterly trashed. Use your water spells. Mess it up. Mind you, they're not attacking lightning, which means we can continue to go on the offensive for quite a while. Are they getting ready for their electro kick? Let's kill this one off. So we only have one to worry about. So with the revolution of what appears to be their legs is what they actually seem to charge up. The legs themselves are drills. Another five star. How much CP are we picking up? Do we need to level up again soon? That's the thing about games. You don't need to level up that hastily near the, like, the ends. It's really good to get the levels on, that's for sure. But at the start of a game, you need to just keep plugging onto that level screen and just get any stat bonus you can. It's the only way to make sure you're going to be perfectly safe when the real fights come around, if you know what I mean. Strength plus 10 up there, though. Water spell, HP plus 15. Magic I'm not too jazzed about, but we really want her in the commander role. But of course, magic helps her ruin spells, so that's cool. Okay, we got Magic 4, that'd be great for you. And any boss that might be forthcoming. 
Right, strength 7 does actually help your flame strike abilities, so we'll take it. And go for the magic 7. What are these ones back here? Magic 3, strength 3. So magic 7 is definitely the way. And Mr. I don't want to join in the fights. So what do we got? We got Ravager done, Synergist done. Medic next. I'm glad he doesn't want to join in the fights with that paltry HP value. Vanilla is probably our most useful party member at the moment. Healing damage and... Oh, healing and damage is good enough. There's nothing hidden there, no. Something hidden there, though. Six Begrim Claws. And a section that looks interesting coming up. If there's going to be a boss, it's going to be here. And there's a save point right in front of it. So I'm going to save now, guys. Because it's probably going to be a boss battle and a massive cutscene coming up. Join me next episode for that. I'll see you guys around. we got subtitles on now, so no problemo after a little bit of a hiccup at the start. Saz recognizes things ahead of us. We're going to find out what it is next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time, and I'll see you guys around. Cheers.